Are we actually about to witness this? I think so. Or they're just saying hi. Oh, no, the battle begins! It's a 2v1, two spiders, one stink bug. Oh my god! He's gassing him! That man had the nastiest breakfast burrito of all time! Welcome back to another episode of Grounded Survival. Hopefully everyone's having an absolutely an incredible day. I'm doing pretty all right over here, and I'm pretty excited for what we got in store for today, except for the fact that I have, in my infinite knowledge, decided to build my base. It's a pretty safe location, but the surrounding locations, not so safe. There's actually uh, quite a lot of spiders around these parts, but that's okay. I'm getting a little bit better. Yeah, okay, well, there's two of them. I'm getting a little bit better at taking them down. Just last episode, we did get to work on a little bit of base building, and we should be able to get most of this stuff patched up. However, we are a little bit short on weed stems and clover leaves, among other things. So we're going to go out and try to collect a few of those, in addition to some other things, and do a little bit more base building. On top of a big thing I want to do today is go ahead and craft up an entirely new type of weapon. we got to upgrade our melee weapons, and I think the ant club is going to be the best way for us to do that. So that's going to involve a lot of ant murdering, including ant soldiers. For the ant mandibles, which is going to be interesting. I just kicked something the bejesus out of here, dude. Call me messy. But uh, I got to get out of here, ideally, without angering the spider gods. That They're, they're pretty much my glorified landlords. But, uh, oh, breaking news. Someone out there has not yet hit the like button. Star, what, what's so breaking about that? Listen, I just have everyone's best interests at heart, right? And I just want to make sure that... You were aware of this because if it's you, I totally understand. I sometimes forget to hit the like button too, but I just had to make sure that you were aware because breaking scientific evidence, the very scientific evidence by water filtration tablets needed by scientists, very scientific scientists with scientific evidence has just scientifically come out that if you do not hit that like button, you are five percent more likely, ha, it's like five hundred percent more likely to suffer. Ooh, a hole in the ground from a paper cut in your lifetime. And I'm just looking out for y'all, because listen, I had a paper cut earlier today, dude. Big pain in the butt, and I do not want any of y'all to have to suffer like I did. Like, truly, I would not wish a paper cut upon my worst enemies, which is why I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of this breaking evidence. I'm just trying to look out for y'all, and I'm also trying to look out for some of the rustling grass, because that tends to mean that there's some nasty fangs nearby, and that's not the type of ant I'm looking to murder. Yeah, but I'll murder it anyway. Oh, got a block. I'm, oh, I did, I awful. Did not do block. Perfect timing, dude. Whenever you hear them like make that clicky clack, that's usually like the best time. Get back here, buddy. Two block. And there we go. That is one ant part of which we're going to need three more. In addition to that, I'm going to try to keep my eyes and ears peeled for some new enemies that are going to be pretty useful in us actually upgrading different parts of our tool set. And ideally... I do want to start working our way towards the best weapon in the game. And that's why I kind of want to get this ant club kicking off. It's going to help us take down some of the tougher enemies that are going to be very necessary in our path to create the ultimate weapon of ultimate destiny. That's right. This ain't the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny, as epic as that might be. Uh, that might be a soldier ant in the distance, actually. But uh, check that out right here. Wait, that's my base. No! Hey! Back it up! Why is my base overrun by soldier ants? What in? There's four of- I can't go to war. That's- that's- I- I- listen, I wanted to pick off some of them solo dolo. I was not planning on going to war with soldier ants. What are you guys doing? Okay. Well, our work is cut out for us, but, uh, also, fun fact, speaking of the like button, in case y'all are not aware, hitting the like button actually makes you, uh, 20% more likely to have an absolutely incredible day, and I'm always wishing y'all an absolutely incredible day, so- uh, hopefully y'all can capitalize. And I, I mean, this is good, but it's also bad. Can you guys stop breaking my base? I gotta get on, like, a really secure location. Because they can climb up here. And they will get aggressive if I get close. I kind of want to try to get on top of that rock and rain death down upon these. Get out of here, you fuzzball! Now ain't the time! I'm being attacked by an ant army, if you haven't noticed. Can y'all please not break that? It appears that they're more so stuck than trying to break my stuff. I truly built in, like, the worst location, but... Oh, my God. Does anyone see this entire... Oh, my God! 
There's so many ants! Well, I suppose it may be time for us to head to war, so, uh, you know, wish me luck, hit that like button, have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day, and I, actually, you don't have to hit the like button to have a fan freaking fantastic day. I'm always wishing nothing but the best for everybody out there. Hopefully, by the way, your house does not get infested by freaking all these soldier ants, because... My life's about to get a little bit interesting. Don't you dare break my freaking stuff over there. So luckily, they appear to be small brain. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They don't appear to realize they can climb up. Okay, just kidding. One fella appears to be big braining it up. But I, I'm just going to kill this guy first. Oh, ho, ho, mama. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. This, this fella's going to be a little bit tougher over here. Let's get our bow back. I'm going to try to use the terrain to our advantage. Beautiful. He can't hit us up here, right? Actually, oh, he broke, he broke the grass. I was using that. Kind sir. That was mine. Hey okay, beautiful. And we're back on some grass. That's a normal ant. I'm interested. hey -ya! And some of those ants. Speaking of things I should do. Oh, dude, they're like protecting their dead comrade. Dude, I need his stuff. Y'all got to back it up. I need those mandibles, bro. Maybe I could, uh. I thought I could hit him from here. I am running low on arrows. I only got 10 of these. We probably, that's another thing I should do today. Try to restock on some of our essential supplies. Uh, I do want to get some base building, so I want to haul some weeds back to base as well. That's another reason I wanted to venture out here. But, uh, okay. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. There's just a lot of ants in my life. And uh, I don't want a lot of ants in my life, really. But maybe I can take out this fellow over here. It should be a three-shot kill. This ant is not the brightest cookie in the batch. I don't know why the cookies would be bright, but this, 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 the quality of this batch of cookies is measured by how bright the cookies are. Yes. And okay. Here we got these guys. Let's get some headshots on this soldier ant. Oh, he's an evasive guy, eh? Well, if I could honestly just take down one more, even if we die, not the end of the world, because at least, come on, stop scuttling. Dude, if, I wish I had a, you know what I need right now? A miniature hand grenade. That's what I could use, but there we go. We got another one of those falling to our arrows and I, I don't I don't know how this is gonna go what's up fella why is there an entire ant hill in my base dude like come on brother no 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 get back here buddy well if we get out of this alive we're about to have a lot of ant parts in our life I need a grenade right now that's what I need Okay, they're freaking just flinging my base all around. They're breaking my workbench. You guys are really just not nice people. Not nice. Uh, I could throw my spear always. There's so many of them. Here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to draw them away. What's up, dudes? Come hither. It's me, the guy who attacked your entire hive. <laughs> Beautiful. Parkour. Okay, well. Is this guy going to chop us down? Oh, he actually is. So grass parkour might not be the best idea. This leaf ain't too shabby of one, though. There's so many, like, cheeky little places you could kind of, like, hide up on. Please don't chop down my leaf. I might need to grab some of those arrows and then get to murdering these guys. I think that might be the play. So, ideally, they don't notice the fact that I am picking up their... Okay, they appear to be noticing. Actually, I think they're about to chop down my freaking clover leaf. They're... I mean, they're working for us, man. That's pretty much what's going on. We got some, uh, free, free labor going on. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to shoot this fella a little bit. Get him to ideally run towards us. He's the only one. I might be able to withstand a 1v1 with this fella, but we are officially out of ammo. And they are kind of standing over my ammo supply, so... Hey oh, no. I got a block. Beautifully timed. Oh, block, block. As soon as they kind of, like, do that little wind-up, that's when you got to block. And I got to run, 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 run. And I got to try and pick up some arrows. Give me arrows, give me arrows, give me arrows, please. And thank you. <laughs> Woo. Big brain strats only. We use the arrows to our advantage. So we got three arrows from that entire debacle. So that's a nice little reload. Few shots into that fella, and I am low on the good stuff again. He can't hit us from there, right? Right? Oh, I can pick up the arrows from up here, though. Hey, give me those arrows back, buddy. I gotta, gotta pull them out from you so I can shoot them back up in your face. Bop! There we go. Bop! Oh, man. I'm, I'm really sorry about this, guys, but I, I need those arrows back. I only have so many, and I gotta shoot them right back into your face. So if you'll please bring them a little bit closer. <laughs> Dude, the big brain strats only. Hiya! Give me way more of those. Dude, it's all, it's, if I just get rid of these soldier ants, we'll be in much better condition. But our strats are kind of paying off here a little bit. Okay, that fella's actually running now. Uh, he runs for too long. I think he, like, regenerates health or something, so I'm a little bit skeptical. There we go. That's a lot of arrows. Parkour. Dude, what can I say? That's our inherent advantage as a human. I have functioning legs. 
Well, actually, I mean, they have, they actually have, like, way more than I do, but, I mean, my mind know how to jump. These guys are small brain in the jumping world. They would not make good basketball players, I can tell you that. Oh my god! Incredible, dude. They have, like, freaking, uh, whatchamacall? Oh. Oh, they finally all calmed down? Thank you guys for being so understanding. Now let me harvest your dead comrades. <laughs> See, it's the ant soldiers. They're bad influences on the ants. We can all get along. Let me just murder your more murderous friends. See, come on, let's hug it out, ant. I feel like we really got off on the wrong side. Give me the hug. Give me the hug. See, they're adorable little cuties. Now I'll be taking these arrows back so I can, oh dude, they did a number on our stuff. But here's some of those weed stems I was talking about that I plan on bringing back in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe our work is cut out for us. We just gotta get a little bit of woven fiber and the ant club will be ours. And well, I plan on going and putting that thing to use. Oh, another thing I wanna do in addition to getting some additional supplies as well, on top of this ant club here, is uh, whatchamacall, whatchamacall. Dude, spider arm is gonna be sick one day, but uh, I gotta get this woven fiber crafted. So I gotta get a little bit of plant fiber. You'll excuse me. Man, honestly, I think it was a blessing in disguise that we were getting swarmed by pretty much the ant army, dude. This was freaking World War Ant. Truly a terrifying alternate universe we live in. Because, you know, I mean, and being shrunken and all that. I mean, you know, it'd be a cool novelty if I wasn't, you know, trying to survive in the middle of an insect world. And let me just say, the bugs are way better at surviving. Except for that one spider that got stuck here. Bless his soul! Because of him, we got probably my favorite tool right now. The insect bow in a previous episode where we managed to kill the wolf spider. Which, by the way, I've kind of come to learn is the toughest spider in the game. Like, there's, there's orb weavers kind of by our current house now. And, I mean, they're, they, they have some magical powers. You know, they're kind of like the sorcerers of the ant world. But they ain't no wolf spider. I can tell you that. But anyways... As long as our workbench stays intact. Why do you guys like living here so much? I don't even like living here that much. I moved. I was getting terrorized by too many wolf spiders. Now I get terrorized by orb weavers instead. What do you guys want? Okay, fine. Like, I get it. Ant, I'm, I'm telling everyone to hit the like button. Yes, I'm telling them to do it. There you go. See, that's a, they just want to know that I'm telling everyone to do it. It's for the ants. So if y'all haven't already, look at that. As soon as I told the ants I was telling you guys to do it, they went away. So, make it happen. Yes, yes, I'm working on it, man. Even the last stragglers, they should be hitting it now. Okay, beautiful. See? We big brain out here, but this is what I'm excited for. Our first tier two weapon with ant mandibles and ant parts. Bada boom. Bada bang. Say hello to something that's going to be so much better than the spear we've been using. Oh, oh my God. You guys love making a mess, bro. You guys are like toddlers. That's what these... That's what these ants are. They're little babies that don't know how to do cleanup time yet. Man, oh man. But, uh, what was I saying? Look at this thing. The ant club. A meaty ant leg. Perfect for beatings. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. It's way better than what we've been using here. Check out the stats in our pebblet spear. That's the damage. No chance it's stunning, and that's the speed. So it's a little bit slower to use, but look at that stun chance, and look at that damage. Talk about Beautiful. That is what we need in our lives right there, baby. And let's go and experiment, shall we? This ant club ain't gonna beat insects to death by itself. It needs the help of moi. And let's make sure that I picked up all the arrows nearby. I could go and try any of those purple plants nearby. Make sure we're not about to get jumped by spiders. I'm not seeing any purple plants extremely close because those are the thistle plants. So maybe I'll roam around a little bit try to find those but i do also want to try and find stink bugs and bombardier beetles and some blueberries because i want to try and craft the best weapon in the game and the key to that ladies and gentlemen lies in the randomest place imaginable right here the ice caps mint container star are you saying your breath smells no i brush my teeth on the flipping daily don't you dare say such things but these things right here are actually harvestable resources. And not just resources, some of the best resources. Okay, where well, there's the roaming freaking ant hive. You guys really are something else. 
Oh, I kind of want to kill these beetles too. I'm not going to lie. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you brought the mushroom as a sacrifice. Oh, hey, hey guys. Don't mind me just stealing your food. Guys, stop following me. I'm getting bad vibes. Bad vibes. I've done some bad things to your kind. So uh, me and Ant kind do not get along. Oh my God. There's so, there's like just multiple roaming hives out in here. But I also didn't want to grab this uh, little weevil over there that we just did. I got to find, more specifically, I believe, a weevil snout. So if I could try and find some of those little black bugs roaming around, it'll be perfect. Because that's how we can craft a gas mask. And I believe the western area of the map is actually quite toxic. No, not like game chat toxic. Like, literally, it's a bit of a toxic location. Uh, here's my game plan from here. I'm gonna go over to that research machine, see if we can't research some of the new things we picked up, like ant mandibles, for example. We do have a lot, and oh, a weevil. I reckon we should be able to use it for maybe like some armors and stuff too. What up, buddy? <laughs> oh, goodbye, buddy. There we go. I'll be taking that. Sorry, pal. That's mine now. I just want their snout though, not the meat. Uh, we can run on over here. We got some. A oh, let's go. We got some acid glands. I think we actually need those for uh, something I was trying to craft earlier. And uh, some mandibles. What new things have we learned from the mandibles? Uh, stuffed soldier ant, soldier ant head mount, and a sap catcher. Ooh. What do the sap catcher do? I don't know. But back to what I was saying with this ant club. It is a little bit unique, all things considered. At least compared to the spear. Because literally it has the chance of stunning whoever we are battling. So for example, hello! Goodbye, look at that! We've managed to stun this worker ant by popping him right over the head. And as such, I will then collect his parts. It's a win-win. I bop over the head, he gets the donk. He got the donk! He looked at me, he's like, Star, don't donk me. I'm like, donk! What can I say? Although I should probably not try to anger the ant workers, because I think... If I kill ant workers, they might hold more of a grudge than the soldiers. Oh, what up? Mine now. <laughs> we're still cool, right? I feel like we're going to be cool until one day we're not. But back to what I was saying over here. I, for nighttime, I do want to start heading back home, by the way. But I don't have a workbench back at home, so I didn't want to take the time to be here first. Ant helmets, ant guards. Ooh. Do I have ant guards yet? I don't think so. So if we find Mite Fuzz... Uh -huh -ho. We gotta go and hunt down a few Mites, actually. Well, luckily, we're not too far from them. We're getting a little bit on the hungry side. I should do something about the food. I always procrastinate that. But I'm trying to get better about it. And I got a pretty good plan for that. It's called a campfire. However, it is back at base, so... I digress. Uh, what I want to get to first and foremost... Is... Where art thou? Is this not the one with like the... All the mites? Mighty poos. Oh, I hear the scuttles. There they are. I gotta collect a little bit of fuzz. Hope that's cool! <laughs> yeah, this thing's more powerful. Hello, soldier ant. Nope. I've uh, done enough with those. Not trying to die. And I kind of anticipate death! Oh, get blocked, son! Dunk! Oh. As soon as he does that wind up, that's when you gotta block. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Come on. Dunk him! Oh! Or just like continue backing up. Oh, dunked! Bunked! Okay, there we go. We managed to actually stun him over there, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Our melee! Look at that! I'm a formidable fighter! Toss me in a gladiator arena and, and time travel me to ancient Rome. They don't stand a chance. Now, if you'll excuse me, I literally have... If someone throws a pebble at me, I'm about to die. So I'd like to get home. Because I do still have to travel through freaking downtown Spiderville. Although it's not Wolf Spiderville. Although I have encountered Spiderbills on that trek back. Dude. Let's go. We picked up some Mite Fuzz. A few extra ant parts. I showed that I'm not a complete derp and I can kind of fend for myself. I think today's been a productive day. Seriously. But no, that is the big thing that I do want to do is actually craft up a... I don't think we have the recipe for it quite yet. But I want to craft up a level 2 hammer. I still have to craft up a level 1 hammer. Fun fact. So I should probably grab some of this stuff. So... I gotta find some pebblets and stuff. Uh, I should craft a pebblet hammer so I can go and gather some quartzite. And then we can use that to, uh, whatchamacall. There we go. We got those pebbles right here. And then we can actually use quartzite and research it for one of our quests. 
from the freaking magic robot in the tree. What's his name? Wally? No, it's Burgle. My bad. Yeah, so then Burgle can help a brother out. So that should be plenty for us to craft what I was looking for. We should be able to get another piece of armor. It should be nicer than our clover armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at those ant arm guards and the full set of ant armor is among us. It only took, well, an ant massacre, but we managed to get the job done. Looky here, looky here. Let's equip it. Beautiful. Oh, and we have a set bonus. Side effects, hum ant. Uh, what does that do? And all of these increase hauling capacity, by the way, which is a pretty cool little detail. Oh, does that mean I can haul? I can haul up to eight of these? Oh my God, that's incredible. Dude, I'm gonna be bringing so many weeds back home. Oh, I don't know how mama's gonna take this, but what can I say? We're bringing so many stems. All right, oh, the other thing I want to craft though, we don't actually need this to do, but anyways, I digress. Uh, the pebblet hammer, beautiful. Let's get one of those crafted up. And I want to go and find that quartzite. But, mm, I should probably empty out my inventory. We are starting to get pretty full. Wish I just light a campfire here. Instead, I reckon... I hear leaves rustling. Uh, what's it take to build a campfire again? Nope, did not mean to do that. I just wanted to see what it takes. Nope, oh, did not mean to do that again. Uh, I need pebblets, sprigs, and dry grass chunks. Okay. Should be pretty doable. I had dry grass chunks here before. Until, well, ants started throwing them willy-nilly. Speaking of willy-nilly, though, we do have a few of these weed stems that I fully anticipate grabbing. Should I have a few more back here? And that's what we're going to be hauling back. I could probably just build, like, a lean-to and sleep here, to be completely honest, but... I kind of like the way things are going now. Oh, and I forgot. I should chop down some of these. I got to pick up some four-leaf clovers, or just clovers in general. I do need these to actually finish the roof on our base that we were working at back at home. And I'm trying to be a productive member of ant society. I have the armor. I cannot disappoint my ant brethren. I got to make them proud. Although, and now that I think about it, it might just make more logistical sense. What up, buddy? I'm just going to run. Please excuse me. Don't feel like fighting you at the moment. I have a sliver of health. I don't have the arrows for this. Go away, kind sir. Yeah, go away. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. That's a good thing. If he can't reach us and we engage in combat, we can see him rustle away. And for the most part, he should leave us alone. We can see that rustling getting further and further. That's good news. But uh, I do want to do kind of like some of those quests that we have here. Because we can get a lot of sketchy noises. Oh my god, how'd you get there? What a tarnation? Are you David Blaine? I don't like this. Dude, I hate wolf spiders, man. They are the spookiest. So hopefully he scuttles away. So is that- that's, There's literally two wolf spiders in my home! Why do you guys taunt me like this? Go away! Okay, we might need to leave home a little bit earlier than expected because it appears that the wolf spiders- I have a reputation for myself. The wolf spider kill her lives here and the wolf spiders are not happy about this fact please go away oh man man okay i might just need to grab the freaking stems that i have right now back it up i said i'm just gonna grab the stems that i got now and try to go away come on dude shoo i don't want to go it's night time i'm gonna get massacred in the middle of the night i don't trust myself all right well why is a threat engaged? Excuse me. Oh. They all decided they want to kill me now. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I really am on the wolf ant or the freaking wolf spider hit list. Well, as soon as I hear that noise, I know to run. I'm not hearing it right now, so that's good. However, I am a little bit worried. Oh my god, because of that. Come on, dude. If I had more health, I'd battle. Dude, I want to be one you Yu-Gi-Oh style. But listen, I just ain't got the resources right now. Go away. No, don't get stuck on my home. He's gonna, he's gonna break my freaking workbench. Aw, oh, Jeeba Liba. Well, I mean, honestly, I'll do, honestly, I'll try and kill him. We do have a stronger freaking bow now, so who knows? Maybe we can do enough damage. YOLO in there with our ant club and take this mother trucker down. 
as long as he doesn't break my workbench. If he breaks that, it is going to be open season. Because luckily, I am using it kind of against it. That didn't make a lot of sense. But uh, I am using the freaking bow I crafted from spider parts to quite literally kill a spider. Pretty beautiful, if you ask me. Truly, the circle of life. Did I just kill an aphid on accident? I think I did. Man, we did a good number on this guy, but... The question is... Can we take him down? Well, I guess what we could also do is like... And he broke my stuff. Okay. And he runs away. This always happens, man. Yeah. I don't like... I don't like living here anymore. I just get taunted by freaking... Oh, it's night mode. And I'm getting thirsty. I might just be in my best interest to freaking camp out here for the night. That might be the move. I'm going to toss that there. I'm going to ideally... Can I build it from up here? Beautiful. I'm not trying to go down there. Because I've seen multiple wolf spiders tonight. Until I absolutely have to. It is pretty peaceful here at nighttime. Then again... Things are always nice and peaceful until you find that spider... That wants to murder your face. Nope, I hear Russells. I hear Russells, not Ruffles. Russells. Okay, dude, come on. I, I'm... Oh! Always oh, spooks me a little bit. I have been literally attacked by so many spiders. It is getting less spooky, though. Can you please stop attacking my base? I'm trying to go to bed, bro. Come on. I just built that. He is literally attacking my stuff. Go away, kind sir. Don't break my lean-to. What has my lean-to ever done to you? Maybe I could hit him from here. No, not trying that. Okay. I think our lean to is done, though, dude. Maybe I can hit him from here. Boop! Oh no, I'm ready to block. Boop! There we go. Oh, I'm blocking. I'm blocking. He's trying to hit me. He's trying to hit me. This thing does way more damage though, which is good. Honestly, if I just like rotate between some melee and some arrows, I think I have a chance of maybe killing him. Oh, show me the butt. Show me that spider booty, baby. Bop! Get, let's bop the spider booty. Bop the spider booty. Oh, we stunned the spider booty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, now we got to switch the bow a little bit. Shoot him. To the face, to the face. Don't run away yet, buddy. Okay, show me that butt. Show me that butt. Let's hit that butt. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's so close to dying. He's so close. I think we'll have just enough arrows to kill another spider. Stay away, beans! Not beans, fiends! If you have any beans, please bring them over. I've been running low on food lately. Let's go, dude! Another spider bites the dust! Better new, new, new! Another spider bites the dust! If the third spider can please stay away, I'm trying to celebrate the death of the second spider. Literally with a sliver of health. Oh my god, dude. That club, it's a game changer. Y'all just witnessed that first hand. The club is a game changer. The ability to stun enemies like that lets us get a few successive hits off. Eventually, I do want to start getting into like actual melee fights with spiders. Not just these little kind of get them stuck in a precarious situation type of fights. I do intend on getting the spiders legitimately into battle. Let's freaking fall asleep, Perhaps dog. I need it. For the night? Get them into battle and actually take them down. Because I've been looking into it. There's a bit of a strategy for taking them down. I just got to kind of get over the fear of the fact that I'm getting attacked by a jumpy spider boy. But it kind of wears off after you get jumped by the 20th one. You get used to it. Anyways, I might need to... Uh, I'll get rid of some of the spoiled food here. I probably should have done something with it, but so be it. It's spoiled. That's a okay. That's a okay. Before we start making our way back home, I want to grab a few more of these. Hopefully the wolf spiders are not out and about yet. The fact that we did just sleep is kind of nice. We did regenerate a little bit of food, a little bit of health, a little bit of water. I will get those properly regenerated. Again, the big thing I'm working on, we got like a dew collector I'm constructing back at home. That'll help us get like a really consistent water supply. I do want to start those like a certain workbench you can make that literally makes smoothies out of anything. Now, I love smoothies, but I don't, like, insect smoothies do sound kind of sketchy. But it is something that I intend on investing into, but, I, I th I, dude, I'm just so sketched by these spiders now. It is something that I intend on investing into, though. But then, uh, whatchamacallit, getting the water 
will be really good too. So this should be plenty of clover leaves for the purposes I had in mind for them. I could probably pick up like two more before our inventory is technically full-ish, but I do want to go and gather that quartz for this quest because we need science. Because in completing these quests is a one way that we can actually gain science. And science is good, yeah? Science, it gives to us happiness in the form of... I got to get over here. It gives to us happiness in the form of the ting. Um, I forget what the ting is, but... Oh, yeah, it'll actually... We can learn, like, new recipes from Wally over in the Magic Treehouse. And I'm kind of a fan of that. Dude, I hear scuttlers. I don't like that because I don't have a torch with me. But there should be some, like, glowy things down here. I'm getting hungry. There's the glowy boys. I need, like, two of these. There we go. And, uh, after that, we gotta craft up a slime mold torch. So we can just kind of see what incarnation's going on down here. And, uh, beautiful. Slot My five. Tower of Helion. Champion of the sun. And as we do get some better weapons and stuff, it is also says I light up a room. very encouraging. Because then we're gonna be able to start... Uh, I'll probably just eat this one mushroom there. <laughs> We'll be able to start going down into these more dangerous situations. This is one thing that I'm really excited for, because there's, like, some ant hills further down into this cave. Various things I want to do. Like, there's still so much more to explore, even though we technically finish kind of the, uh, the, the story so far. There's still a lot to actually explore before we kind of have touched everything that is actually in the game thus far. So I'm super excited for that. And another thing that we got to work towards as well is actually getting a level 2 hammer. That's kind of the big thing that we need to actually build up the mint weapon that I'm talking about. And it's it's going to be big. I'll probably just come back to that stuff at some point. I just plan on researching this. That's going to be really big. Literally, it is, I believe, the only tier 3 weapon. So it's kind of like the ant club that we have in our hand, but even stronger. I think it's actually the only tier 3 anything in the game. Star, what are these tiers that you're talking about? No, I'm not, like, crying all over the place. Like literal tears like there's levels to this that kind of stuff and to craft some of that better stuff we got to start killing better enemies so i wanted to invest in kind of kill them and getting our hands on a better weapon better armor so we're freaking ant-man out here bro get marvel on the line so we do have that going for us and this is what i want to do let's analyze the quartzite baby but we got some solid armor we got a really solid weapon I think we need this quartzite actually to finish that dew collector I'm building. But we got a really solid weapon. And I'm starting to feel comfortable with this to get into some real melee combat. And specifically battle the likes of... I don't know. Oh, there's some of those dried grass chunks that I needed for something. I forget exactly what it was, but uh, I might just get rid of some of this. Uh, um, I'll, I'll eat the honeydew. I will also drop that. We no longer need that. Brussels sprouts. And I'll take this opportunity. Let's get a little bit of them dried grass. So I do recall specifically needing that. Try and find like, there we go. We'll chop down this dried grass and then I'll dippity doo da, Deadl on out of here. We got pretty much everything that I was primarily looking for. Is that grass? No. Where the grass at? There we go. Damn, that grass flew, dog. Maybe like one more. Okay, we got a few more parts here. I just want to get like a full stack. Just so we have as many resources as imaginable. And so we're just kind of... We don't have to travel back as much. That's kind of the logic. Dude, I'm just so stoked we killed another spider, man. This central little, like, science machine, it's truly magical. And, uh, oh, I got to chop down another dandelion. So we can get some of those foundational pieces we require. Yeah. See you later, dandelion. Thank you for dandying my lion. But I now need dumb weed stems. We're going to bring this up to the fullest stack that we can. That's so sick. I had no idea that the armor actually increases your, like, weight capacity like that. So, ant armor, it's got my seal of approval, dog. And we are full. And our workbench is broken. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, I got to keep my eyes out for thistles. I think they're actually thistles by our house but it's just a matter of getting into my house without dying so again your best friend during travel keep your eyes peeled and look for grass that rustles in the distance 
That's how you can tell there's a spider nearby. And sketchy noises. Although usually the sketchy noises come after the rustling. Also, I did just happen to find this, by the way. It's my first time encountering this, so if you don't mind me, I will definitely go and inhabit this. What up, science machine? Oh, a personal log. I've thought about Story this time. In circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Ominous may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original oh, size. Oh, mama. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. Don't want to fight those yet. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in four hours or less. Oh, oh, I thought that was like a, I honestly thought that was a poop. Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. Alrighty. Yeah, those were new bugs over there. But I don't think those are the bugs I'm particularly looking for for what I want to do. Because the first thing I want to do is craft up a level 2 hammer, I believe. And that's going to take us killing some stink bugs. And what's the other thing we had to kill? It's home, sweet home. We got to kill some stink bugs. And then I think the bombardier beetles. And those flower petals are actually a pretty rare resource. So I might go and grab those at some point here. Uh, you require six weed stems, dude. Are you serious? I'll definitely put one into here so we can finally officially have that be all done and finished. And then I know our pieces of roof do require weed stems too. So I'll put some of those in. Woohoo! First piece of roof officially done. And the rest will go towards that. You're seeing a little bit of spider silk among other things. Slowly start building that stuff up. We still need some sprigs and pebblets, however. I should have some of those in my storage here. Um, I got some silk. I'm a little bit low on the pebbles. Might need to craft up another storage basket, by the way, but this is the dew collector I'm trying to build here. And unless its name is incredibly deceiving, it will collect dew for us, so it'll be a super nifty way of us just having water, easy access, ready to go at all times. So here we got the plant fiber. It's not woven into fabric quite yet, though. Actually, that was my plant fiber. Did that backwards. Let's have some thistle needles, so we can craft up actually a lot more in terms of, uh, in terms of bows and whatnot. Or arrows. We can also put down all the clover leaves. They're not going to be completely done, but we can continue doing some base construction here with all those clover leaves we brought over. And uh, barely enough to get the roof done, so slowly but surely, our house on a hill slash stump is coming together. And apparently I was looking into it a little bit some more, and for what some of y'all are saying in that comment section, huge shouts out to y'all that I think we got to like put a foundation down before we can build a door. So that's going to be a pretty big worry for us moving forward, too. We got to get that stuff, which is why I want to get the science, because we can get new recipes from the magic man in the tree. But in the meantime, uh, I need some food. I don't exactly... Hmm. I mean, these additional spider parts are actually huge. We might be able to do some pretty fun stuff with it. But for now... Hmm. Yeah, we might need to go out and get a little bit of food here. Ideally, what do I need to finish this again? Peblets and sprigs. I mean, I got sprigs, right? Yeah, we got plenty of those. I mean, not that hard to pick up. I'll pick up a few more. Just make sure that we are being cautious of spiders that like to roam these parts. And okay. Down we go. Let's collect some of those resources. There is... I mean, we are nice... Like, we're pretty close to a lot of water, low-key. High key, low key, mid key, whatever key you want to freaking sing this tune in. We got it. Oh, and these acorns. I want to empty out some inventory room first, but those acorns are going to be really cool as well. We should be able to gather those and start crafting some entirely new recipes. So like, this is a really cool place to build personally, I think. If we want to build a base on the ground that's a bit more susceptible to getting attacked, just for, you know, just for some shenanigans and giggles. We can do that, but in the meantime, we got a relatively safe, uh, fortification up top. I'm hearing, like, spider-like noises. I'm getting sketched out. The one thing, though, the neighbors. We have mean neighbors. <laughs> That's my one bad Yelp review about this place. Oh, I needed pebbles. 
I needed pebbles. I needed woven fiber to finish this up. Okay. In that case, can I weave the fiber? Can the fiber be velt? I think I need to go and get like a few more. And okay, I'll keep my eyes out for the pebbles then. I didn't get mixed up. I thought I need something else. Oh man, I wish those spiders weren't there. Oh, hello, ladybug. How you doing, buddy? I gotta murder you at some point. I'll let you live for now, you adorable little derp. And also, I'll knock you out. Cause I'm looking for a weevil snout. I haven't found it yet. Oh, there's another ladybug there. Beautiful. Dude, low key. I mean, it's it's got its trade-offs. It's a really nice location for a few reasons, and then there's just spiders everywhere. That's really the main negative. There's spiders everywhere. <laughs> Worse negatives, but also better negatives, too. Where are the freaking pebbles, dude? Is there just genuinely, like, no rocks around these parts? Like, come on. That's why I need to finish this campfire and cook up a little bit of food. Although the soda does give us food, too, so I'll settle with the soda for now. I suppose I'll keep my eyes peeled for more of that, and... Uh, do I have a little bit of inventory room? Okay, we're making a mad dash for these pedals. Will I regret this? Maybe. But these petals are a very, very special item. They're primarily gotten. I remember when I walked through there originally. I don't know how I got through there without seeing any spiders because I literally see like two of them. And it appears that a flower. Let's go! That flower petal's the real MVP. It's blocked the spiders out. Ah, <laughs> let's go! But yeah, I remember I was like wandering home at some point. That spider's no longer blocked out. I regret everything. I was wandering home at one point, and I, I think I walked through those spider webs there, or a similar spider web in the wall. And uh, I didn't get absolutely pooped on. And it appears that those spider webs are a very good indicator of nearby enemies. And oh, no, 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 another orb weaver. Remember when I said at the beginning of the episode I wanted to make band aids? Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> I really should do that though. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, not make them right now. That's not a good idea, but uh, fiber bandage. We just gotta continue finding plant fiber and sap. So it should be pretty within the realm of reason. I just wanna go and pick up the rest of these pebbles, but I wanna make sure that spider's not nearby. Like, I believe in my abilities to kill it, but I also believe in my abilities to be big brain and not try to anger our neighborhood spiders. Hello, aphid. Can you be a messenger of peace? Okay, that's a no. I thought I could use them to help out. Don't even need to boil it. Does not appear to be the case. Here's what we're gonna do, though. Check this out. Another new resource, nectar, actually drops from these as well. What? I don't know. Is that two spiders? They're doing something dirty together. Don't mind me. They're making weird noises. I'm just grabbing these flower petals. I don't think y'all need them anymore. The the romance is there, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> don't need those anymore. Do there's thistles nearby? The more I actually look specifically for things I need, the more I realize this is a really, really good place to build. Safe location, all sorts of resources. <laughs> Spooked me there, bud. That's the weevil meat. That's not the snout. And there's a spider. There's a spider. There's a spider. There's a spider. No, thank you. It's lurking. Please stop lurking on me. Please stop creeping, spider. I know it's what you do here, spider. But uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm out! Where'd that thing go? <laughs> Literally right where I was. We got out of that unscathed. Like James Bond a little bit, but... Whoop. Plop down here. Oh, we gotta get the last of the woven fibers. And ladies and gentlemen, we got some final touches over here. <gasps> oh, the stink bug! Actually, we gotta fight that thing. We gotta fight that thing, so first things first, I'm gonna build that woven fiber there. Dude, dude, this could be big. Although, we might be able to see a battle, actually, between the stink bug and some of those spiders. Oh, let's go, dude. Are we actually about to witness this? I think so. Or they're just saying hi. Oh, no, the battle begins! It's a 2v1, two spiders, one stink bug, oh my god! He's gassing him! That man had the nastiest breakfast burrito of all time! I think- Oh my god, there's a third spider! There's four spiders! What is happening? What? 
Oh, it's dead. It's dead. That thing's dead as can be. I gotta go and collect that dead body. Oh my god. But there's literally four spiders right there. That's not what I expected. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice and clean. I'm set on water now, baby. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's terrifying for a whole different reason, because I, I gotta go there. And that's looking logistically not like a good idea at the moment. Um, I'll put my sprigs in there for now. Just free up a little bit of inventory room. So if we die, we don't lose everything that we know and love. Uh, continue putting some things away. And uh, okie dokie. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting. I, I just don't know how this is going to go. I really want to go and collect the dead parts of that. But I... <laughs> we are going to die if we do that. There's literally so many spiders. They're on top of each other. Not metaphorically. They are literally on top of each other. Hmm. Why'd you guys all have to come here and freaking help each other survive? Couldn't have let the 1v1 happen? Are you fighting me now? Oh my god, they're building the ultimate nest over there. As much as I want to get to that stink bug. Oh my god, they can climb? I hope not. I hope not. As much as I want to kill a stink bug. That's just gonna be death. But we know that the stink bugs, that's the second time we've seen them come around here, so that's good. Because that's an enemy we gotta kill at some point. So it's good to know at least that they're nearby. We'll have to use that to our advantage, but with that said, with that done, I think that's actually a pretty good point for us to go ahead and start ending off this episode of Grounded Survival. Hopefully everyone did enjoy quite the gut-wrenching one at times, but at the end of the day, pretty triumphant, except for this stink bug debacle that, I don't know, man, like, maybe I'll just store as much stuff as I can and just run for the hills, try to get that stuff. That might need to be the play. We'll have to play it by ear, but that's something we can go ahead and debate next time ideally when there's less spiders living here but with that said with that done that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of grounded thank you guys a whole time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya